Let's look at uh, next six fixtures. Uh, let's look at Australia first. That's coming up. Okay. So we always thought that the first four were tough ones. And the fact is, Sri Lanka may not have been playing the best, but they, they still are world champions. And then you have Pakistan. You know then what? you've got what? Netherlands, New Zealand, England. So basically, in the next four, they've still got three tough ones. And you would you think that to get to the semis, you need a minimum of six. Six Yes, wins. I do. Uh, they've got one with six to go. My gut feeling is telling me they'll win the next one. They'll beat Pakistan. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But that's not good news for Pakistan fans because mm. if they lose two on the bounce, yep. then you don't know that's a shaky team. Yeah. Then they have to, you know, turn the hat, they have to win their remaining games as well. It's going yeah. to be a really interesting set of fixtures coming. But my gut feeling is that I think they, they can account for Pakistan. I know they started well. Mm. Uh, this but against whom? Well, that's right. Sri Lanka, Netherlands. Yeah. The Australian team is slowly gathering momentum. They're not nowhere near the finished yet, so they they still got a you know way to go. But I think they're on the way, and I reckon they'll account for them. But is that why they're dangerous? Because once they get the momentum, then it's it then you sort of that DNA kicks in, right? Then they're that that but, mentality monsters yeah. that they are. But they remember if they're wearing the baggy green. It's, okay, it's not the test matches, but it's Australia with those five stars. Yep, the confidence grows, and uh, with their skill. But they still got some work to do with the ball too, just quietly, you know. But both areas. Okay, but do you the fielding think, improved. Do you think Australia getting to the semis comes down to these two games: New Zealand, who are playing beautifully, and England, who right, who aren't exactly yeah. playing the best cricket at the yeah. moment. And it could come down that one yeah. of those teams, yeah. it could be a virtual knockout. That that especially the game against England yeah. on the fourth of so November. Assume, Where's that game? I don't know. It's in Ahmedabad. Yeah. Let's see. Let, let's assume the next two. They win. Okay, they win these two. And so the last they, they've, two. Got, they've got three. And the right? last two, right? So that's three, four, and five. Yeah. So one out of these can do it. Yeah. But uh, you know, that's that's just the theory. <laughs> Let's see how it pans out. But that's. But what but I they think. can't afford any more. Any no, more but they got to win the next one. I think they can do it. Okay, but they can't afford to lose. Okay, they've got what one, two, three, six games yeah. remaining. Yeah. How many more can they afford to lose? At one. least one. I mean, one, one max, I reckon. One max, okay. Interesting. Let's get Sri Lanka up because Dav said he thinks they're out. Let's let's get let's get Sri Lanka. They're in. Gonna. <laughs> let's get Sri Lanka's uh, remaining fixtures. Okay, again the Netherlands. That's the one they think they should win. They beat them in that uh, qualifier as well in the final. But then they've got three tough ones. The way I look at it, England, India. In, in fact, India is Mumbai. This is where the 2011 final happened, and they close up against New Zealand. But they have to win six, and I don't see them winning. Okay, even if you look at five, New Zealand went in with five last time. But do you see them winning five out of this? Well, they'll, they'll be putting down Netherlands as a win. Yeah, they'll they think they'd beat Bangladesh the, and, and uh, Afghanistan. Yeah, that's right. We don't know Afghanistan. No, but that's what they'll be thinking. So, okay, so that's you know, three. They can, like, you can bank on those Then they three. need a win, two wins against England, India, New Zealand. Right. Tough, isn't that's, it? That's tough. That's tough.